Hey guys, welcome to Unifotoshop Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. Today I'm going to show you how to create this effect in Photoshop using this image. You can use any Photoshop version for this. I use Photoshop CC, but uh, you can do it in Photoshop CS as well. Um, these images are for uh, are free. You can download them from the internet. On the video descri description, you will find the link. It will take you to my website, and you will download. You can find the download links there. I hope you will enjoy it, and let's get started. So I'm going to start with the background image. So you can open it in Photoshop. I'm going to just copy it. I have Photoshop in Spanish right now, but it doesn't really matter. So once you have your background image, uh, go ahead and open the second image, which is this one. And you're going to paste this onto your image over here. I'm going to drop the opacity first because I want to see where I can place it. I want to make it smaller a bit about that big to about 68% of the original size. So I'm going to place my image over here. Now we need a copy of this because we're going to do this in two steps. First, we're going to create the waves here. We're going to blend the water with this uh, pavement here to make it look like it's actually water. So I'm going to create a copy with control J and I'm going to desaturate it. With Shift Command U, you can desaturate the image, and I'm going to change the blend mode to let's say soft light uh, first to see how it looks like. Maybe overlay. Overlay seems to look a bit better, so what I'm going to do is leave it on overlay. Uh, if you want to have more contrast here, you can see now that this looks like it's actually um, liquid. So if you want to have more contrast, press Control Command L. This will open the levels, and you can increase the contrast of your image a bit. Now I'm going to create a layer mask because I have to mm, blend the edges and the top part we don't need it anyway so I'm going to paint with black with the soft brush and for the bottom part over here I'm going to use a lower opacity 50 and 20 for example and you'll hear a lot of clicks because I'm using the mouse my graphics tablet is battery um, is discharged so I cannot use it and well you can see how the water looks like right here you can paint more if you want and just leave the water ripples around the woman something like that and now I'm gonna activate the top image and I'm gonna create yet another copy and the second copy I'm gonna use it for color that's why I'm gonna name it color and I'm gonna change the blend mode of this to color it's too bright. Uh, well, the color is too strong. I could drop the opacity or I could leave it on normal. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, on normal, I think it looks better. And drop the opacity to about 15%. And actually, I'm going to use the same layer mask. Alt click and drag it on top of it and check it out. You can see it looks a bit more like more bluish. And I like that. If you don't want to use this second copy, don't worry. Now, on the First one, which will stay on normal, let's name this girl. I'm going to create a, an inverted layer mask. I'm going to alt click to create a black layer mask. Make sure you don't move this uh, because if you move it, uh, you're not going to get a good effect. So if necessary, select all la layers and link them. Choose link layers. And now with this layer mask created, I'm going to drop the density a bit. If you don't have this density, uh, no problem. Uh, simply use a normal mask and just paint out everything except the woman, but uh, you'll have a bit more work. So I'm going to drop the density a bit and instead I'm going to paint with white with an opacity and flow of 100%. I'm going to paint with white to reveal the woman. I'm going to make a first rough painting like this to reveal her head like that and I'm gonna drop um, leave the density back to 100% now so this is my model here now with the brush you could um, you could uh, paint this I'm gonna use the quick selection tool to see what I get if I can get a good selection out of this yeah, it looks nice. I'm going to invert the selection and fill that with black. 
And now the only thing I have to do is recover the hair. But here with the brush, I'm gonna paint first, I'm gonna paint this out. And now I'm gonna paint in with the opacity of 30 and flow as well. Just here around the edges. Like that. Okay, and here I'm gonna paint with black with an opacity and flow of 100% just to get rid of this blue things over here. Now we have a copy here, um, this one, uh, which is on black and white. We could use one of these copies and try the multiply blend mode. Let's see how it works. Multiply and get rid of the layer mask. Yeah, it's not working really there as I expected. So actually, yeah, let's try it. On the girl layer, I'm gonna mask the hair. So I'm just gonna mask the hair out. Like this. And then I'm gonna create a copy of this same layer, of the girl layer. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to multiply. And now I'm gonna paint with white to reveal the hair like that. You will see the water as well. You can see that blue of the water as well, but don't worry too much about that. We'll try to get rid of it. Now, in order to only leave the hair, what we can do is first desaturate this image. So I'm gonna press Shift Command U to desaturate it. Now with the levels, I can brighten the tones, some of the tones here, like so. And now with the soft brush and low opacity, let's say 30 and 30, I'm gonna paint with black to blend the edges a bit better. And on the girl layer, I can, with this layer, I can pass through over this hair over here with the higher opacity, maybe 50 just to recover parts of that. And simply with low opacity brushes, you can get rid of areas that you don't want. And with several passes, you can construct the effect that you want. So in this case, I wanna recover the hair. So that's why I paint with this low opacity brush and just Paint with black if I want to remove areas and paint with white if I want to recover some areas. Uh, with the graphics tablet you will do it a bit quicker and better than I'm doing here with the mouse. It's really annoying to do it with the mouse, but anyways. You can try other selection methods, you can try uh, using calculations. I have a tutorial about how to use calculations to select hair and other kinds of uh, more complex selections but uh, here the hair is not really that difficult to, to paint with the brush so you can you can do what I'm doing here which is uh, oops which is recovering the hair using brush strokes and just paint over it and that's it okay I'm gonna leave it like that I think it looks pretty good like like it is now and that's pretty much it I'm gonna create the color look up on top just to uh, create a different effect and I'm gonna leave it like so uh, probably a bit more contrast on the woman I could um, make her fit a bit better using a high, um, brightness and contrast adjustments I'm gonna increase the brightness and also the contrast a bit and with levels I could, or curves, I could add more bluish tone to her. Let's add a curves adjustment and go to the blues and just create this sort of split tone effect on her. And that's it. And with this one, I'm gonna set it on soft light. This will give you more contrast. And that's it. That's how I created this quick effect uh, in Photoshop.